2023, the year of paying more for less. That's just going to be more and more and more as time goes on, man. Of course it's packed with the cheapest ingredient, you know? Lame shrinkflation attempt by KFC? Bought for takeaway, only noticed the missing bits at home. Both were missing a piece, so can't be a simple mistake. They know what they're doing. Yeah, it's not a simple mistake. Also, God, I'm never ordering from KFC again. I paid like 60 bucks for a bunch of stuff one time, and they forgot literally half of it. So no, I will not be going back. They lost a customer today. Mm. I just single-handedly took down yum foods all on my own. Cut the bars horizontally and make them appear wider to create the illusion of a fuller package. They're always very good at what they do. Yay. God damn it. Jealous of Jerry's cereal collection. What does he have back there? Hold on. Oh, not bad. I see. He's eating Reese's for breakfast, dude. At least it's not airline food. McLarge McFries, that's McSmall. You didn't, you didn't have to title it like that. But no, if that's what I took out of the bag, I'm going back in. I'm sorry, you gotta get to a point in your life where you go, hey, okay, I paid for a full container of these bad boys. I paid for a large fry and I just got a bunch of little ones. Mids thinking we don't notice. Oh, we all notice, okay? Whenever you see new look or something like that, keep an eye out, seriously. It's a perfect time for anybody, and I know they didn't, they didn't rebrand, they just changed it, but whenever you do see new look, double check the sizes and weights and everything like that, see what happened. Great value, heavy cream. Ingredients, heavy cream, milk, contains less than 0.5% of that. Hang on. These were bought a few months apart. They shrunk the stick by 10% and raised the price 35%. Oh, yeah. Dude, these are so expensive, too. Like, I think I paid like $8 for my last deodorant antiperspirant stick. And they just keep getting smaller. Three ounces to 2.7 ounces. Woo! Same thing with hair gel and pomades and stuff. Holy crap, are they so expensive. So expensive. More for your money? All right, hold on, let's see. Super glue, we've got 2.12 ounce tubes, all right? And then this one, the original super glue. More for your money. 2.10 ounce tubes, okay. What's the price here? Is the price difference for these two guys? Because I imagine the more for your money is more expensive, right? Also, the package design is definitely intended to make them look big! Whoa, they're so much bigger, dude! Check it out! Nando's changed its chip sizes. Cheeky. Didn't even notice until I got home. My mochi. All right, hold on. Let's see here. Let's let's take a look-see look. Uh, six pieces, six pieces. Six 1.25 ounce. Okay, wait a minute. Six 1.5 ounce. Man, this shit sucks. I remember Pringles being the proper diameter to fit in the can. Now they rattle off all over and break. I'm gonna be honest with you here, I don't ever remember Pringles being the size of the can. I mean, to an extent they of course were. Yeah, these are definitely smaller than I remember, at least by a bit. But I don't ever remember Pringles not rattling around in the can and shattering and breaking. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about with that one. Pretty much a chicken nugget on a bun. Yeah, that's pretty damn tiny, dude, I gotta say. Cutting corners on my cheese. <laughs> God damn, this sucks. Fiber One Bars skimping on the strawberry. Hmm. Hmm. Not really a fan of your bullshit, Fiber One. What's this all about? Only six? <laughs> wait. Wait, 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 wait. No goddamn way. When you post something like this, by the way, please, for the love of God, tell us how much you paid for it. Because I, I don't know how much it was, but I would imagine it's over five bucks, and that makes me really upset. Advertised as more loads, but it's 50 ounces less detergent. I do wonder, uh, is it because of the high efficiency machines? I don't know. Eh, who am I kidding? It's a big company. Of course they're skimping, right? So 50 fewer ounces, but more low, that's just weird. Yeah, I mean, we're supposed to be working towards more efficiency, right? Right? Deceptive packaging. Felt like this belonged here. Oh, oh, dude, that is more than deceptive. How is this legal? I know it can't be construed as false advertising or something like that, but how are you allowed to create that much extra waste 
all for like what's your profit margin on this it can't be goddamn much i'm sorry disney it can't be much palm olive reducing by 20 percent their natural bar soaps this is getting ridiculous yeah, it really is. It's a bar of goddamn soap. Why do we need to shrink flate bars of soap? Or is there a shortage of that? What I got from Panera yesterday versus the picture of what I ordered. Okay, that certainly looks like three bites of food. Okay, hold on. Before I look at the other one, more coffee. Ah, gross. Yeah, that actually just looks like something I could finish in two spoonfuls. Awful. Versus that. I'm speechless with this stuff, man. This is getting to be disgusting. Why do they get to do this? Wrapping paper to tube ratio. <laughs> what? Was that new? No freaking way. My allergy pills I still have to pay the same price for. Oh, yeah. I bet there's a reason that this was done. Bullshit. Bullshit. The good kind of shrinkflation. Oh, okay. 63% less plastic, same 250 mils. That is good. You do love to see that. Thank you. Eight pack polars instead of 12. Yeah, why are they doing that? I mean, yeah, it's so they get to charge the same amount of money for fewer items. I get it, but goddamn. What is this, bro? Uh. That's a quarter pounder, which is that actually a quarter pounder? So I've always been a little confused on the rules with a quarter pounder, right? It should be a quarter of a pound, right? Now, was that the whole burger itself or is that just the patty? I've always been confused on this, but I don't think anybody is bringing scales to McDonald's to catch him in the act. You know, like that dude that bought a foot long sub from Subway and he measured it and it was like nine or 10 inches. Come on. We gotta have the crazies out there doing the job. An example of UK food shrinkflation. Same product, smaller packaging, increased price. Okay. Hell yeah, I'm paying more for less. Thank goodness. Oh, I was afraid I was getting a good deal. Hiding the real prices. Hiding the real prices? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my local Safeways, they've not been doing this. However, I've been getting real tired of seeing an awesome price and it's no longer a part of their, you know, put in your phone number membership and get a discount. It's a part of the super special download this weird app discount. No, stop it, dude. I actually went into Whole Foods recently uh, for the first time in many, many years because I don't go to Whole Foods just to grab a tube of sunscreen for $4 billion. And I noticed there was a special Whole Foods member price and then an Amazon Prime super member price. I didn't put in any information at the kiosk whatsoever. I scanned it, plopped my card in, and it gave me the super duper Prime member price. That felt a little freaky. This is all getting weird. Stop it. But uh, yeah, this is this is a lot of bullshit here. Yeah. Regular retail 278. They know what they're doing. It's pathetic. But we kept the same price. Latex gloves. Cool. Uh, you kept the same price. I'm going to buy the other one then. Thank you. Does this count? Due to the price increases on soda product, we're no longer offering free refills. How much has bags of syrup gone up? Because I think the most expensive part of selling soda, out of the fountain anyway, is the gas cost. Like your big canisters of, it's CO2, right? Because when I worked at IHOP, my manager was telling me, yeah, dude, honestly, a glass of soda costs us like seven cents when you break it down to that level. But you know, they charge like $3.75 because they give you infinite refills and most people only drink a few glasses worth. So you're coming out ahead quite a bit. 12 ounce, large and regular size Rice Krispies. <laughs> oh man, that is deceptive as hell. Again, I don't think anything falls under false advertising, but that is mega deceptive. I have been so annoyed at Kellogg's and other companies for putting those stupid large size, family size, big butt size on their cereal. Like, dude, just shut the hell up. Just stop it. Cheetos, uh, oh, I see, it's a big case, was one euro last year. Now it's 1.5. Used to be 12.5p per mini pack, now 25p. The price doubled. You know, I really don't like it here anymore. Added a roll from a new package of toilet roll. Yeah, oh, yeah, see, that's how they get you. That's how they get you, dude. See, uh, what you gotta do now, though, um, is attach a bidet to your toilet. Stop waiting. Do it now. You can get it for like $30 from Walmart. It takes you like 20 minutes to set up at most. 
that's a seriously conservative estimate. Is that the right word for that? I don't think it is. Anyway, just do it, please. You'll save yourself so much in butt paper. Colonel Seasons Butter Spray. Same bottle size, advertised as 20% more. Okay, this does feel explicitly like false advertising because it's a f***ing lie. It is straight up incorrect and a lie, right? Am I the only one that thinks this? 150 gram difference, same price. Damn, that is not an insignificant amount. Longer sheets! Okay, quicker picker upper. 101 two-ply sheets or 107 two-ply sheets. Hmm. Woman grocery shopping in 1974. Oh yeah, yeah, this crap was off the chain, dude. Okay, anybody want to take bets on how much that entire cart full of groceries cost? Because off the top of my head, if I really had to guess, that entire cart is like $14. Who knows? It could be like seven. Could be half of my estimate. I just, dude. Boomers, I'm sorry, but you guys got it better than anybody in human history. You really did. And you complain about everything. It's insane to me. I just can't believe it. You guys ever seen the movie Stand By Me? Where all four of the kids are trying to combine the amount of money they have and they come up with like, I think, like a dollar fifty-seven or something in change. And one of them goes off, he buys like an eight pack of sausages or hot dogs, a full loaf of bread, a soda for everybody, and like some candy or some crap like that. And he gets change back for all of that. Meanwhile, today that's like 25 bucks. <laughs> I know inflation is a thing, but god damn it! Shorting me nine grams, of course, toothpaste. Of course! Yeah. Medicine shrinkflation. Oh, yep, there it is again. Same pattern, too. Arizona single cans, 4.55% shrinkflation. Oh, really? They got smaller? I didn't know that. Yeah, when, when I was a young boy, they were 24 ounces. To be fair, to be as fair as possible with Arizona, they are quite strict on their pricing. It's 99 cents. Sure. You can sell them for more, but if you do, you're a jackass. And look, they're on sale for 89 cents. Hell, I remember one time, it was a very rare sale. <laughs> Reminiscing about, you know, the golden days of my childhood here, when I could get, uh, I think four for 99 cents. That was a hell of a day. Party pies, increased pack size, plus 10, while 250 grams lighter. Very deceptive and un-Australian. That is very un-Australian, isn't it? $2.45 for a slice of cheese? Excuse me? Dude, McDonald's is absolutely McLosing it. They have lost their frickin' mind, no joke. I remember, well, what was it? Their one, two, three dollar menu? Have you noticed that that's not gone, but suddenly almost no food is in the one or two dollar slot? I say almost, because there's always something, but the one dollar slot is now a small coffee or someone slaps you? I used to be able to get a bag of burgers for like seven bucks. Now that exact same order is like 28. This is getting out of hand. Am I crazy or did the filet of fish used to be like bigger? I opened the box to find essentially a slider. They did used to be bigger, yes. And all of this used to be bigger. Take a look at a Big Mac from the 70s versus today. I'm not saying that the size of it before was great, but paying like 40 cents for a Big Mac back then, you got yourself a week's worth of food, and today it's like $19 billion and you eat it in a bite. McDonald's breakfast slider, apparently. I don't know, those have always been really small for me. Making them frickin' smaller again! The photo doesn't really show it, but it's a massive difference. Oh no, I can tell. Oh, I can super tell. The way the packaging tries to hide it by framing it. Oh no, I, I, I see you, I see you. Standard size Snickers. Could almost fit it in my <laughs> Why did you have to say that? Where did that come from? We've been having a pretty normal video right up until this dude said that. Come on. He is right, though. That is super tiny. The transitionary period of shrinkflation is particularly awkward when you're getting screwed over is so obvious. Same price, of course. Oh, yeah. When the old product is still on the shelf, price is all the same. The new one is clearly way smaller. Yeah, that one's awkward. I mean, the store has to get rid of the old product, right? It's just kind of great that these companies get to uh, tell on themselves, I guess, for lack of better terminology here. Literally. 
literally nothing we're able to do about it at all, of course. But, you know, at least we know these corporations are all pieces of garbage. New Dove soap bottle left is 3.4 ounces less. Same price as before. Of course it is. Why would it be cheaper? Spectra Code Hornet Spray, 2022 versus 2023. 20 ounce value size. Smaller 18.5 ounce value size. Woo! I don't know why my voice kind of like disappeared there. I didn't do that on purpose. Drumstick has gone downhill. Thank you. I'm not the only one who thinks it. Also, okay, I'm sorry, I don't believe this one right here. That one feels like you bought the pack of the miniature ones, because they do make smaller ones, I'm pretty sure. But no, you're right. Drumsticks have indeed gotten smaller, and they also just kind of suck ass now. I don't know. Ever since the Choco Taco was taken off of shelves, the world hasn't been the same. As a stalker, I see examples of shrinkflation fairly often. 67.5 ounces to 57.6 ounces for the same price. And it's getting more and more brazen as time goes on because we're not able to really do anything about it. Pretty soon that bottle's straight up gonna be half the size for the same price because they can get away with it. New 828 milliliter bottle versus the 950 milliliter Gatorade bottle. And you wanna know what? It's all designed so that you can't notice. It's pretty great, right? Seriously, that's how they're designed. They have a group of dudes in a room somewhere going, all right, how do we shrink the amount of liquid in there, make the bottle smaller, but make it look bigger, and charge the same price. It's also you don't notice. Just pay attention to stuff. You'll freak out. Your two liter container now contains 1.6. Hooray! <laughs> Online shopping even tells you when you're being ripped off. Why not try this one? Because I don't wanna. I wanna buy the product I was actually going for. Size and all. KFC tenders. Please tell me you got more than just the two though, right? They're very small and that's bullshit, but please tell me you got more than two. Oh, laughing cow. We love those in this household. Let's see. Uh, six ounces to, yep, that fucking tracks. Maybe not shrinking, but definitely dishonest. Starbucks uses a 12 ounce can for their 9.6 ounce drink. Wait, what? Oh, come on. Look, I hate Starbucks, but this is a new low. It's not really. Uh, their anti-union, anti-LGBT practices are just, you know, that's way worse than the can of nitro cold brew that tastes like shit, okay? Does this count? Toothbrush handle got thinner. Doesn't seem as sturdy. Honestly, when it comes to toothbrushes, I understand this one, okay? Any way that they can reduce the amount of plastic that we constantly use and throw away in however long, I don't know how long everybody uses a toothbrush. I think it's different for everybody and I don't give a crap, but I'm okay with this one. Unless it's bending and breaking in your mouth, I don't really care about paying the same price so that they can actually shrink the amount of king waste that they create for us. You know what I mean? Arm & Hammer drops half a gallon in three months. Uh, huh, huh, what? Tide gets in on the action. Oh, dude, Tide has always been doing this bullshit. Is there a limit on how small food can get? I bought Chips Ahoy cookies for the first time in like 10 years, and I honestly laughed at how small they are compared to what they used to be. Do you have a comparison for what they used to be? Because I have no frame of reference. Because as a kid, of course, they felt bigger because I was smaller. But are they really smaller now? I'm not denying it. I'm just, you know, just asking. Kirkland toilet paper used to be 20 bucks. Now it's 22 and you get less sheets. Fewer sheets, right? Anyway, yeah, of course, even the good brands are not immune. They finally got the vitamins. Oh no, they've been getting the vitamins forever. Vitamins are such a racket, dude. I'm not saying that they're not helpful because they are. I take vitamin supplements for sure. And I'm certain that they are helping me a good bit. However, so many of these vitamins are complete bullshit. More UK shrinkflation, 10% reduction in size, same price. Let's all have a party! 